So in this lesson, we're going to keep working on the design of our postcard. Once that we have our photos placed, we're going to go to File, Open, and we're going to open the file that we downloaded from Freepik, the one that contains all the logos. And if you click on that one, you're going to see that that is a group. And we actually only want one, so we're going to right-click and ungroup. And you can see it's still grouped, so right-click again and ungroup. And now we are able to move just the logo that we liked individual pieces. So I'm going to go to edit and copy or press Control C and go back to my document where I've been working on my files and just press Control B. Make sure that you are pasting on the front one because that's the place where we're going to be using it. I'm going to just select it and change the color to something like white. Then I'm going to go to my tools panel and select a rectangle or press the shortcut M and create a rectangle that is around this size. I'm going to change the color to black and then go to my transparency modes, make it multiply and if you don't see the transparency window for whatever reason, you can go to Window Transparency. Now I'm going to play with the opacity a little bit and change the value to something like 80. I think 80 is probably working okay, but maybe a little bit lower could be better. You're going to go to your pen tool or press P on your keyboard. And then if you hold that, you're going to see the Add Anchor Point tool or you can use the shortcut plus. And then go right there where you can see that that is the center and click to add a point. Then do the same on the bottom one. And what we have done there is adding just a, an anchor point right there on the middle. We're going to go to our direct selection tool or press A on our keyboard and select the bottom key, the, sorry, the bottom anchor points that are right there on the, sorry, the top anchor points that are right there on the top and move them while pressing shift twice with our arrow keys. That way we can make sure that we do the same on both sides. So just two. I made three by accident. Now that we have that shape selected, as I was um, saying before, I think maybe this is too dark, so maybe I can dim it a little bit more to go to something like 70. Now it is very important that you always align your artboard, sorry, your elements to your artboard, so Make sure that you're aligning to your artboard and align that right there. Now I'm going to bring my logo to front by right click, arrange, bring to front. Scale it a little bit going to one of the sides. And then I'm going to click again on both objects. Click again on the big rectangle to make it a key object and align them. Now I'm going to go to object while selecting the black shape. I'm going to go to Object, Path, Offset, Path, and then Offset. You can see here that I have a positive value, but I'm actually going to go with less 0.1 inch, and I think that's going OK. You can have a little preview and press OK. I'm going to swap the fill and the stroke, change it to normal because it is getting the same appear transparency settings from the other one. Let's change to white. I think this is too thick, so I'm going to go to Stroke. And if you don't see the window, you can go to Window, Stroke, or use Control F10. Now I'm going to change the weight to something like 0.5. I think that's working better. Scale this a little bit down. Move it to the top. And now we're going to go to Google Fonts to find the font that works for us. Google Fonts is great because all fonts are free and you can have different types of fonts. I want to find some, uh, sorry, the one that was quicksand, and the reason of why I'm picking quicksand is because it has different styles, light, regular, and medium, and bold. So I'm just going to download it and go back to Illustrator, and I'm going to use that one. So I want to go to my Type tool, or press T on my keyboard, click, and then let's type my text, Salmon Tuesday. I'm going to select it, and then I'm going to go here on the top to character and change it to that quicksand and I'm going to actually select the bold one. Now I'm going to bring it here and I'm going to make sure my paragraph to center the text. Then center again by aligning and selecting one object to make it a key. Then I'm going to go to window, type, paragraph, sorry, character to bring this character window where I can play a little bit with the text. So first of all, 
I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger and I press alt and shift while I do this I'm gonna make this salmon work bigger by clicking here and then the distance between both of them is a little bit bigger so I'm gonna select both and go right there and let's uh, make this distance smaller so right there we have our text and make sure that it is centered now we're going to go again to our type tool and let's type this time something like hot price And again, I'm going to scale this a little bit. I can go to my eyedropper tool and click on the on the text. Now you see when I click normally, I get the same size. But if I press Alt Shift while I do this, sorry Alt, I can get just the color. And then you simply move it a little bit to the top. Now when I create a copy by pressing Alt and Shift while dragging, I change the text to something like 9099. I can make the price bigger because that is actually something that I want people looking at this design to really see with first glance. I'm going to go to my line tool and make a line while pressing shift to make it straight. Give it a stroke white and make sure that my line is centered. And I'm going to copy that line here on the middle between hot price and 90 and I'm going to go to my stroke and select dash line and I can play around with the values to get something like this that it's very very uh, close to one another just by giving it a dash of one point or I could give something like three and you can change the these types of of dash and gaps if you want the dash and gaps to have the same distance or if you want them to have the same beginning and ending I think this is working very well and you can make them round or not if that is uh, what you want I think that because our design is not rounded I'm not gonna give them rounded but you could play around with these settings to find the type of dash line that you think would work for your project And I'm just going to move everything a little bit just so that I have some some space there and scale a little bit up the logo you can play around with these elements until you feel that you have something that you like and with this we have our offer right there that is just on the top of our photo We can scale it up a little bit and on the next lesson we're going to keep working on the postcard.